Hello, I'm Dave, and in this video, you're going to learn how to transfer your WordPress site to a new host. So let's get right into it. So the um, name of the original site we're transferring is called coolstorestuff.club/coolinfo. Um, now, so what it is? It's a WordPress site that's actually in a folder called coolinfo. So you can have as many WordPress sites in different folders as you want. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, but you can. And so we're going to transfer that WordPress site into a different one. And um, it doesn't really matter if it's if you have yours in a folder or don't. It, it's the same approach. Um, and we're going to transfer it to a new host, and we're also going to give it a new name. So it's not going to say cool store stuff. It's going to say something totally different. So how do we do that? Well, let's go into our host that we are with. I'm with SiteGround. It's a fairly good um, host, by the way. It's pretty pr fairly decent. I was I used to be with Bluehost, and uh, I switched over because I think you know I'd been a long customer of Bluehost, and I don't think I was on solid state drive. So this one's a little faster. Now Bluehost is trying to get me back. So you know they weren't too bad, but like I say. So what we do to start we click on file manager okay and enable this little checkbox that says show hidden files okay go um, now I should point out that uh, you know you can tell if it's if it's working if you can see your dot ht access file you know that the the this is a hidden file and it's enabled um, however I remember being with Bluehost and when I checked that little box even when I came in here it didn't show it and I had to I'll show you a little trick in case that happens to you sometimes you have to let's just see oh yeah it's this part here sometimes you have to type this at the very end of your um, line here your you scroll to the end and this is the key thing and show hidden equals one and then it'll magically show the hidden files that's just a little tip in case you run into that problem um, now let's see what we can do so what the very first step is we got to navigate to our, our site that uh, that's the site we did I just showed you right over here cool store stuff club slash cool info so let's go back there and oops, this is the one here okay now let's navigate to it cool store stuff club right here and cool info that's that's our site right here okay so all of these files will have to be selected okay and compressed so uh, I've already done this but I'm gonna just show you the procedure okay so I compressed them all and I'm going to uh, refresh this page because sometimes it doesn't show up here until you refresh it oh okay we gotta navigate to it again because I refreshed coolstore.club and cool info there we go so okay I think we're good it stored it in a in a folder called WP admin zip that's because of my mistake when I compressed it um, let me show you again if I hit select all and hit the word compress you see you're supposed to read it automatically what happens with the file manager it tends to pull this first name WP admin and it uses that as the name because it happens to be the first fo uh, folder so I forgot to rename it the contents is still still the same though so all we have to do here it's right here it's uh, click the rename okay and let's do it here let's call it cool Cool info. Okay, that's what we'll call it. Rename it. So no harm done. Everything, our entire WordPress site is in here except for the database. So what we do then is we only need this, and we would download it to our computer. I've already done that though. I'll show you. So I'm not going to do it again. I'll just going to delete this file now because I don't need it. I did it in advance. So I'll show you where I saved that. Mm, desktop it's in a folder called cool info I downloaded it right here the zip okay because uh, you may want to know that as I 
proceed along in this video. So there's another thing I have to go get to download a site correctly. I mean, this is all. This can be used for backing up a site too. Okay, so you can, you need these two files to back up a site. What we just did that zip file, and we need the database. How do we get the database? So we go over here. Okay, into it again. We're back in our control panel, and we scroll down until we see PHP My Admin. It's in databases. So let's click that puppy. And let us, uh, there we go. Now, which database do we need? Well, the way we'd find that is we go back into File Manager, into Cool Info website, which is our, it's a bookstore. Now we, we gotta look for a little file. And don't get too scared of all these files because you don't usually do anything with most of them except for Maybe the HD access file and WP um, config file. Those are the main ones that you'll ever work with. And you may work with some other ones if you get into an advanced level, but for, for what we're doing here, there's only two. Okay, so we edit this. Okay, and you're going to see it has the, um, the uh, database name here. The database uh, user, the database password, and this is usually called local host for almost any host provider, but there might be a few exceptions to that, so keep that in mind. You may want to check with your own host provider. So I'm just pointing these out to you. These are what's going to be modified. And normally, um, you see where it says uh, David's 50, that prefix is part of the host when you sign up for the host you'll be you'll be given a prefix and usually you won't change that um, and so we're gonna have a new prefix we will probably keep all the other names the same uh, I don't uh, I may change some of them but anyway just letting you know that generally you're gonna change the first three lines the uh, the database name uh, the user and the, you could leave the password the same or change change passwords up to you so here we go, we can close this now. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. Now, um, we have to create a database, We ha or we have to download that database, actually. So now we know which one it is, actually. Did I, uh, uh, let's go back in here quickly. Sorry about that. Kind of lost my train of thought there. The database name we're looking for is davids50 underscore dave. Oh no, that's the username. The database is David's 50 underscore cool info. So we're going to look for that over here. Yeah, David's 50 underscore cool. No, that's cool store stuff. Cool info is right here. Okay. And make sure you're on the right one. So what we're doing essentially is so once I click that, okay, I then hit the export. Okay. Okay. And then I would say go. Okay. And you notice this file. Well, it's got a little one in the bracket because it knows we already I already downloaded it. That's why. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna download this, right? We already I did it a, f a few minutes ago. Okay. So I just wanted to show you how to do that. You got to download that, and then now you've got a backup of your complete site. Those two files. So now we are moving on to the new host, and we're gonna upload it. So let's go to the new host. This is the new host, okay? Uh, actually, it's, um, let's sort of start from the beginning so we don't get sort of scrambled up here. Um, okay, let's do this, here we go. This is the, um, the uh, control panel, so it looks totally different. But it's, you know, same functionality and everything of the new host. The new host is called Lifetime Hosting. And I kind of like to call it lifetime of problems because it's quite a slow host provider. And you know, if you're uploading a, even if it's not a very large WordPress site, it'll usually give you errors when you're uploading it, especially if you're using plugins to upload it. The manual way sort of bypasses that. We, we can kind of get, we can upload a big site, but if you're using these plugins, it'll time out on you and you'll have lots of headache with it. So I don't advise going with these guys. I'll leave a, a link under the description of this video so you can check it out. 
uh, for site ground, I would um, I would advise for that. You can try other companies like Bluehost. If, uh, I think site ground's a bit more expensive, but it's probably it's probably a little better. Uh, you get a lot of recommendations on the internet about site ground, and uh, so I'll, I'll leave a link for you there, and and maybe some other links to uh, up some free courses that I have and stuff. Okay, uh, so let's now get into, we've got to get into the file manager. That's the first step, okay? Let's click on the file manager, I'm gonna open it in a new window. So we may have to come back here again later. Okay, let's see, here we go. Okay, so here we are. So we have to go, the layout on this is, is totally different than most conventional web hosts. So, but anyway, you eventually figure out your web host that where all the files are and how they're managed. So we're going to put our new site into into this. It's this is one of the, my domains I have already, and th these come with uh, you know you can set up custom domains with this company called Li Lifetime Hosting. I think they were free when you bought their Lifetime of Hosting or Lifetime of Problems, uh, and you can see these domain names aren't too desirable like you know uh, linker.co.network well okay so that's what but we're gonna make a um, let's uh, open that up we're gonna make we're gonna make a folder in here a custom folder and we also we can't put it right under here we gotta use go into the public folder first that's how this one's structured so it's a little different layout so it looks like I already created a folder called cool info and that's easy to do you just once you're here you click this right just in case you don't know how to do that I'll show you um, okay good so this folder here okay yeah to create a folder now that we're in this public directory we would just go down here and say create uh, it's a new folder and you would just give it a name it would save it in this area here but I've already got it so no need to do that so now let's just open our folder called cool info this is where we're gonna put the new site now you can see I've got a zip here cool info dot zip well normally it would be blank if we're starting new and I would have to upload that file from my computer we already have that uh, file as I showed you before on the computer so I've uploaded it because it's 785 megs and, and it takes so you know maybe five three four minutes to load up so I don't want to wait right so I already have it there so you don't have to wait and everything so we're gonna ex what we do now is extract that file now I should mention if you are uploading this you can upload it from here I think you are a the uh, file manager most web hosting companies will allow you to upload around two gigs if your website is over two gigs and that can that can happen very easy you want to use a, um, a program like that does FTP uh, most popular one probably be FileZilla it's a free one so you can check into that if you have a really big site okay so the files have been extracted now you can see all these files okay so first thing we're gonna do now is we are going to uh, go back in here and we're gonna create a database we're gonna create a database because we need a new database uh, to upload to so we go into my SQL um, section yours might look different like it's if you're using a uh, most of the conventional host hosts are gonna look like this the icons gonna look a little different my SQL my SQL database is okay so but with a new company it looks like this so kind of a different looking icon <clears throat> okay so now we're opening that up in a created database okay and it looks like I've created it but I'm gonna delete it because I was I was doing this once before I'm gonna delete that database just so we don't have any shenanigans going on here so you understand how to do it too okay done okay so now we create a database by clicking this button. Okay. Now, what are we going to call this? We're just going to call it cool info. Okay. I should point out to you that in our old, the, the one, the, the old um, <coughs> host company, that this 
prefix will be different in the database because we're making a new a new uh, we're with a new company so it has this new prefix I can't change this okay cool info uh, yes I'm gonna use the same name normally if you're making a site more secure you probably change different names and stuff but for demonstrations I'm just gonna use everything the same the password I'm gonna put cool I'm gonna use the same thing okay just to make it real quick and easy so there you go create the database okay I'm gonna copy all this stuff here just for our database copy it okay now I'm gonna put this in a notepad and I've already done that before but just to so so uh, we don't get too confused okay so it's all in a database now the name of the original site the URL it was coolstorestuff.club slash cool info the new domain is going to be linker.co.network.coolinfo so it's a totally different domain and um, and these are the this is the new database here the information now this is not information to log into the WordPress once we install it this is just the database login details I used to get that confused okay so what we're going to do, and I'll just show you, show you some, if I can get back to where we were. So yeah, we're in linker.co.network, cool info. That's our new site, and it's going to have the bookstore. Okay, so um, what we need to do, what we need to do now, there's a file in here you got to open up. And uh, so let me just, I think we did everything correctly so far. There's one thing I just want to make sure that I didn't forget in that uh, when we made the database here. As I forgot it once before. Okay, so we've created our database. So let's click on this again. I might have forgot to do it. Okay. Access. Okay, wait. Okay, here I change password. Modify privileges. Okay, let's make sure we enabled all the privileges. I think I just want to make sure this is granted. And again, this area might look different in yours, but just make sure you grant all the privileges. Okay, so change, that's good. Good enough. Okay, now let's go back into here. This is the file manager again, and let's go down to where it says WP config. Okay, this is, this is a file that uh, I don't have to check it I guess this is a file we want to edit and you're gonna see why in a second okay this is the area that we have to modify we have to change these um, the database name the database user and the password etc whatever we want it to be so we've already um, we've already saved all that information right here so let's just modify that right now so right there is our um, database name right in between the quotes we're going to paste that right there and let's get the next one database user as you can see I've used very similar names copy well I guess my user is totally different okay no big deal and the password what was the password I think it was just um, cool info right could have typed it in probably faster uh, okay so that's it so now we've got everything updated here right so we can save it I can find out how to say okay there it is save it okay now let's go back now now that we've we've um, updated that file that's good but there's a few more things we got to do I just you know uh, we're just doing some host cleaning here because we have to do all this. Uh, now let's go back in here. There's another. We got to open up another um, another icon here. It's, uh, this one's this one. I'll, oh, I always miss it. It's under extra features. Now normally in your host and most ho hosts, this is going to be right here. PHP my admin, and then you know the one we used before was this one. So. Uh, this one's kind of scattered around because it's um, it's uh, way down here under extra features. Okay, so well, let's open it up. She's finally opened up. 
um, and I paused the video for a while because this, this site is this uh, host is very slow so this is our database that we um, <coughs> in fact created I'm gonna um, open it up okay it's um, opened up again now I'm going to um, finally opened up and it doesn't look like there's any file uh, files here which is good because it's a new database I'm just going to click on here just to make sure that's uh, correct okay yeah it's basically saying no tables found so there's nothing there right now because it's brand new so we got to import the database that we saved so I click the import button and I'm just waiting for this to load there we go finally uh, I'm not sure what takes it so long but uh, <laughs> okay yeah I did that once before okay so we click the browse button this is the file it's on this is where we saved the database it's the SQL file click it open it and hit go okay it looks like it's um, finally uh, finished I'm gonna um, I'm going to uh, click this again here to see if it shows it okay it's finally showing the um, all the files underneath unique be cool info just make sure you're in the right one all the time because these are other these are databases for other sites I have so this whole gray area is all the areas you need now we have to do something in here we have to um, we have to find one of these okay it's the options one we need okay so let's click on the options one and it's going to load that okay now we finally got the options this is this is the information in the options so we need to change these this is the old site so it's because it's the database we imported we need to reflect the new URL here so what I'll do is I'm going to click this edit button here okay finally there it's there okay so now what we have to do is Take this link here. This is this is going to be the name of our new site, right? Copy that. Just get rid of the old site, and I'm just going to copy that over. Okay, and then I'm going to hit go, which is saving it. Good. So it's changed. You see, linker.co.network.coolinfo. Now we got to change this one. It's the only other one we got to change. But I'll just bear with me a few seconds there. Uh, I think it should almost be there. But in, in most, you know, good hosts, this will it'll only take about a second when you click it. So there you go. <laughs> you get something for a low cost. You pay the price in time. So this is the link we got to change again. Yeah, that's it. And hit go. There we go. So both of them are changed. You can see it right here. These two lines. One, two, one, two. Okay, so that's done. Now, um, I'm just going to give you a quick tip since we're in here and it won't take long. So we're in the option setting. If you click on the user setting, um, there's an area that you can change your, um, your um, admin, like when you're logging into WordPress. This is just when you're logging into WordPress. You can change the admin, username, and password. In WordPress, you're not allowed to, I think you think you're allowed to delete the admin. Here you can do anything. You could you got more control. So it's just a tip. Um, I might make another video on that, but I don't want to get sidetracked right now. Um, how to do that. So this is the back end, you know, even it has more control than WordPress. Um, now we've done this in here so that's one change we have to make we've already changed the wp config file and and we've so what else have we got left here this is our file manager um let's see if our website works at all it probably won't but let's just double check so what we're gonna do is copy the name of the word site uh, the site okay here it is the new site and let's see if it does anything here paste and go okay here we go okay so we get an error 
403 not to worry because I know how to fix it okay so what we have to do to get rid of that error okay we have to let us we can delete this or if it's a dot ht access file it's got a dot in front of it it's hard to see but you need that that's exactly how this file's got to look in this file um i'm going to rename it just in case we for some crazy reason we need it but i don't think we will we'll call it backup okay we can delete it later so it'll rename that to backup you see um, okay so that that file essentially won't work now okay and if we reload this page we'll probably see our site there's our site however I don't think our site will be fully functional let's click on one of these books see 404 so and another thing I wanted to look at when I yeah okay so there's a few other things we need to do um, let's now log into this site we should be able to log into this into the WordPress uh, back-end office of WordPress it's gonna make a uh, paste and to walk log in it's gonna type WP dash admin just like that and this will be your original password from the old site it hasn't changed anything here of course you can edit that once you're in WordPress or in the back end office of my uh, my PHP my admin which has more control as I mentioned so we're gonna just say remember that for okay so now we're in the back end office okay now there's a few things I want to do here I want to go to settings and to permalinks okay this, this is what uh, you normally have to do uh, I've been told to save it but I some videos uh, information saves it twice what happens I just save it twice it, it um, there's some stuff in the database that sometimes doesn't get updated properly so if you just save that twice you don't have to do anything it'll update it let's double check now see if I'm going to reload this page see if that's corrected any problems here yes it's fixed our, it's fixed the, the, I think it's fixed all our problems so that's great um, let's just try another one here and also make sure that this URL is matching okay because we're going to do another thing here in a second um, because there's one more thing we want to do okay because uh, yours might not match and um, what we're going to do to to make sure because see what happens is we've changed this this is our um, old site and it's a new site sometimes the some of the images and stuff will still have this in its domain and it'll be pointing to our old one now don't forget our old one is I haven't deleted the old site so if I did that this may not 100% work with the images and stuff so what we want to make sure we do because it may be pointing to the old site so what we want to make sure we do now is we're going to get up we're going to get a plugin okay install plugin there's two ways to do this on, on a, I, and I'll post it underneath this video there's a um, I did a longer video it was really long so I try to make it shorter because it's, it's it's over an hour it's about an hour and ten minutes or maybe more um, and it shows a, a way to change your URLs just to make sure everything's changed um, but I like this method more that I'm going to show you and, and, and it used a um, trying to find that uh, I can find out oh here this is it it used this uh, plugin you c it's free you can get it you just have to give them your email I guess and they'll send it to you it's called interconnect so if you do a web search for interconnect because uh, this is this isn't the link for it here if you do a web search uh, for interconnect um, search and replace you'll find it because it's, it's it's all about search and replace and so you, you basically just stick in your old uh, URL in here and the new one here 
and then um, you can kind of you can watch my other video though because it goes into more detail but for this for what we're going to do here we're going to do something easier we're going to install a plugin okay add new add new plugin we're going to search for a plugin called velvet blues update urls so as you can see i was in there already earlier okay how come it's velvet blues that's kind of strange it should be velvet blues I'm, oh here it is right in front of me <laughs> why i'm looking for something different i think okay sometimes if something's right in front of you and you miss it amazing okay so velvet blues so what we do here now quite easily we uh, we're gonna go to where it says update URLs right here click this okay now it's, it just wants the URL and uh, so what I did here um, I tried different variations of it before but all it seems to want is the uh, <coughs> this version it's the HTTPS version. That was my original site, coolstorestuff.club um, slash info. Them. Now you may have different variations, like with the www.coolstorestuff. So you may have two variations in your site. So you may want to run this twice. So let's run it once for this. And then this is our new site right here. Okay okay there you go so these are both secure they have the s in front of the https right and so we're changing anything that's in the site that refers to this we want it to refer to this this is the new site and we're gonna check all these check boxes off basically it's looking for everything right so let's give that a run bingo done is it found 12 items Posts, pages, custom posts, types, and revisions. Okay. Now, you know, you can also take the S off in case there were some references without the secure things. And I don't know if there was, so but it won't, won't do anything. It won't da damage anything if we do it. Okay. It doesn't have any. It just found zero. And the other thing is, what if there was a www dot I'm just trying different variations too. Uh, maybe I'm going overkill, but you know, uh, sometimes these things creep up, and this way we change everything. Nothing found there, and now we can try it without the S too with that. So I'm trying four variations. That's fairly fairly quick anyway. Okay. Nothing. Found nothing. Okay. So the only thing left that sometimes is, is necessary is to go into uh, pages. That's right, pages. Okay, highlight all your pages. And there we're gonna go and we're gonna edit them all. And we're gonna apply this and the status we're going to change them to draft okay and update it so in case there's sometimes uh things don't get set up right in the database it's like it needs to be switched off and on again sort of thing and that sort of refreshes the database so here we go i'm going to highlight them all again okay let's make sure we get them all um no I'll do I'll do it with two this is page number one so I'm not sure if this is getting page number one and two so we'll go and do both pages anyway so edit and now what we're gonna do we're switching this on to published that's all we did there okay okay now we'll go into I think I don't know if it selects all the pages here so let's go to page the block two and let's just go to select this bulk actions edit apply and we'll do the same thing we're, we're gonna call this a draft 
and and then we're going to publish it in a second. <coughs> now we do it again. Edit, apply, and we want to make sure it's published. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's the other major change. The only thing I would do now is I would do that with posts. I'm not sure if posts are handled if pages already takes care of that, but there's no posts in here, so we don't have to do it. So we're done. It's uh, everything's done. Um, let's just double check our site again. Let's go to the main uh, area. Let's just go here. This is the way to get to the main. Okay, so we're at the main root of the site, and then it's the new site. Okay. So let's click on a few books, make sure everything looks like it, yeah, looks like it's working. Uh, yeah, this looks like it's, uh, let's see, looks like we're good. So that's all there is to uh, transferring a WordPress site manually to a new host, changing the URL. And the advantage of this is that um, you can do as big of a site as you want, and you don't have to have plugins and stuff because they limit you and stuff. So that's kind of nice. Uh, and you know how to manage some areas of the site a little more too. So thanks very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please hit the like and the or the um, subscribe and the bell for notifications on some more how-to videos that I make. And uh, if you have any questions, leave a comments below. I'll try to help you if you need help doing this and or if you need some tips, let me know. and. Um, check out some of the links i have i have some other links to uh some free courses and hosting and i'll put whatever i think is beneficial to you there all right thanks for watching